In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can take a course description from a particular course syllabus or some kind of text and out of that text create an image to represent the contents of the text that you copied earlier. So in this case, I have this course description here. And one way to express this would be something very similar to this where I have all the concepts, all the components that were covered in the course description, but they are represented in a format very similar to this. Now you can change this format, randomize it, take certain words out, and readjust it. So in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can create this image, what tool to use, and then also how to save it, and finally, how to post it in e-learning. So here's how it works. First, go in, into your syllabus and then copy the section of text that you want to copy. So we right click, choose copy. Then we need to go to a website called wordle.net. And from this site, you can create what's called word clouds from text that you provide. You can either use an existing one that somebody else has created or you can create your own. So you'll need to click on create your own and then in here you'll type a bunch of text or in our case we'll just paste the description of the text that we copied from the syllabus or from some other document that you have. To paste it I just simply right clicked here and choose paste or you can press Control V however you do your pasting. And notice I have all this text. Now I click on go and it gives me, based on the common words, how many times a specific word is used in your description, those words that are used the most often, they will be the biggest here. Now here we can choose to randomize this image. Or we can click on color here and choose a color theme that you might prefer. The layout as well, you could change it any which way. So it would be a variety of ways that you can customize this. And then if you do not want a specific word in there, you can simply right click and choose remove. And everything will be customized again. Then if you don't want um, other words, for example the word using, choose remove, right click, choose remove, and it will be readjusted. Now at this point, if I like it the way it is, to save this as an image in my computer and then later we'll learn how to upload this into e-learning or Moodle. So now that we have created the image, now we need to save it to our computer and then upload it to e-learning. Unfortunately, we can't save it to the com uh, easily to the computer unless we save it to a public gallery and then save it, um, uh, access it online. So another alternate way is to use the snipping tool that comes with Windows 7 home premium and uh, better that allows you to take or a portion of your screen and save it as an image. So to save this as an image what we do is we click on start then go under all programs and then go under accessories and in here it's the snipping tool. Click on it then at this point what you do is you click on wherever you want to notice you have this plus sign here or so just hold down the mouse and then select part of the image that you want to save and you can do this by the way for anything online or in your computer by using the snipping tool you can basically save any portion of your screen as an image now we need to save it to our computer so we click on save snip and then choose where you want to save it So we give it a name, I'm going to save it under pictures and click on save. Now at this point that picture is already in our computer and now we are able and uh, ready to upload this to our course. So we go to e-learning, sign into the course. So we sign into the course, then we find our course that we want to upload something. Let's say that this is the course that we want to so then what we do is we click on turn editing on and let's say we want to post it somewhere in the top right here. So what we do is we can either click on this edit summary icon 
or we could add it as a label to the course page. So let's do the first one. We'll click on Edit Summary. And then what we do here is uh, we just simply click somewhere on this text box and then choose that we want to upload an image. So we click on Insert or Edit Image, Upload an Image, then we choose File, then we search for this file under in our computer where we saved it earlier, so we go under Pictures, and then find where we saved it earlier. So here it is, and click on Open. Now we'll upload the file to the course page, and if you notice the file at this point it's pretty big, or the image that we are uploading it's pretty, pretty big. So we can change the size of the image by simply changing those dimensions in here under Appearance. So usually a good size would be probably about three to 400 pixels. So let's try it at 400. And then under the, uh, we'll click anywhere here and it will resize the other dimension here automatically. Then under the alignment, we're gonna change it so it shows up on the right hand side of that text area, like this. So it'll have the text on the left and below and then it'll be on the right hand side. You can choose wherever you want to have it, that's no problem. So you click on Insert, click OK, and this is how it will display. Now we click on Save Changes, and the image has been posted to your course. So this kind of summarizes all that you're covering in this course in a single image. All the different concepts or the different topics that you're going to cover. Now if you wanted to insert this somewhere else in another week or so, you can do that, and the way you do it is by clicking on Add a new an activity or resource, go under Label, then you'll scroll down, click on Add, and here you could have a whole bunch of text from before. So let's say you're going to summarize what you're going to cover that day in this course. Let's assume that's the summary for that week, and then you click on Insert Image. We are clicking the beginning here, Insert Image, find or upload the image, click on choose, go under pictures where we saved it earlier, click on open, upload the file, change the dimensions under appearance, let's say we want to make that smaller, 300 pixels, and then ins we want to align it to the right hand side again, click on insert, click OK, scroll down, and that image has been posted to your course description for that specific week. Of course, you can move it to wherever you want. So hopefully this is a valuable tool. It's free and the only thing that you need is basically to go to the site wordle.net, create the image, save it to your computer, use the snipping tool to save it to the computer, then upload it to your course. If you have any questions, please feel free to post comments in this video.